You've written about LinkedIn strategy too. Could you tell us about that one? Oh yes, it's a. Uh... You've written about LinkedIn strategy too. Could you tell us about that one? Oh yes, it's a very simple way to capture, like, uh, search for people. Basically, like, th there's something called Google Dorks. I think it's best if you just uh, write in the chat. And <laughs> it's kind of a way of making Google search what you really want. And so there's like ways where you can search only on LinkedIn. So if you do like site double dots um, LinkedIn.com, uh, maybe I'll write it. So you do like this. If you do this, like you can just, if you search for that on Google, Google will only give you results from LinkedIn. And if you do this, like you can, like, you know, if you start thinking about ways of doing this, you can do some crazy things. Like you can do site LinkedIn.com and then you do like at gmail.com. And so you start to getting, you start getting only results where Google has found a Gmail account. So Google is kind of your database for this. And yeah, like if you, if you're doing like some project and you want to like, uh, get the emails from like e-commerce people, you just do site linkedin.com at gmail.com. And then you do like e-commerce and then you start getting like this huge list of like all the people in e-commerce and you can scrape that. How do you scrape uh, Google results? Um, at the time I used some uh, extension called data miner, which basically it allows you to scrape only the exact results you, you use. So I, I used to like say, look, only scrape the entire sentence that has like at gmail.com. So it would scrape, like it would give me the link of the profile. And then it would give me the exact Gmail account, which was very useful.